Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, former state Senator Eric Stewart has been arrested on theft and fraud charges. The charges stem from an investigation into his insurance business in Franklin County. Stewart served the state's 14th district from 2008 to 2012 before unsuccessfully running for Congress against Scott Desjardins. He turned himself in on Tuesday and was released on a $5,000 bond. We're told the investigation is still continuing and that there may be more developments to come. An 11-year-old Knoxville boy is in serious condition after setting himself on fire. Police say home security video shows Xavier Graves was filling a cup with gasoline in his backyard. The gas spilled on him before he lit a lighter, setting himself on fire. Authorities say they don't know why he was playing with a gas can. He was supposed to be on his way to a school bus stop at the time. His stepmother heard the boy screaming as he ripped his clothes off and ran to a water hose. He's currently in the burn unit of the Shriners Hospital for Children in Ohio and is expected to survive. Charges have been dismissed against former Chattanooga lookout Yasiel Puig in a reckless driving case. The 22-year-old right fielder was a finalist for Rookie of the Year this past season and played with the lookouts for two months before going to the L.A. Dodgers. He was arrested in April when a Chattanooga police officer clocked him going 97 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone on Amnicola Highway. He told police he was driving for a friend who had been drinking. Prosecutors say his charges were dissolved after performing 12 hours of community service and because he didn't have a prior record. Several East Tennessee congressmen say they'll be switching their personal health insurance to Obamacare, even though they don't support it. Come January, Scott Desjardins, Bob Corker, and Lamar Alexander all plan to give up their federal health insurance and buy their health plans online through the Affordable Care Act. Desjardins is a physician who made repealing Obamacare one of his top priorities, but his staff says he believes members of Congress shouldn't receive a special exemption. A convicted burglar has been arrested after a spree of home break-ins in the Chattanooga area. Police say residents were at home when Ricky LeBron Davis broke into their houses. But last year, his charges were tossed out by a judge after police put a GPS device on a car without a warrant. Now he faces 10 new charges and is scheduled to appear in court December 3rd. Also a sad story from our news partners at WRCB. A man is dead after a house fire in Polk County. Officials say four people were inside the Benton home when the fire broke out. A mother, father, and their two children were able to get out of the house, but the man ran back inside. After the fire, officials found Mark Trueblood near the kitchen area. Officials say they aren't yet sure what started the fire. Finally, a new report shows TVA leads the nation in problem nuclear plants. The Tennessee Valley Authority has five operating nuclear reactors under heightened regulatory oversight. That's the most of any U.S. utility, according to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The report says TVA miscalculated the flood risk of most of its nuclear plants on the Tennessee River. In addition, TVA has suffered from multiple human errors and equipment problems in key safety systems. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 59 degrees. The low tonight will be around 35. That's today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.